clase era la disciplina espartana de ustedes como decimos los militares estamos estamos saliendo adelante vamos saliendo adelante eh, ¿hay algún otro representante que desee expresarse si no es así tomaríamos de los que tienen solicitada la palabra señora por favor eh, cuando termine ella eh, se me ha indicado declarar un receso o sea que sería después de un receso de 30 minutos señora por favor después de ella tomaríamos un receso de 30 minutos
The military industrial complex has good days. The production of weapons increase. Kongsberg and Namo weapon factories have received new and greater assignments. The rationale is that for the increase in weapon production now is that Russia threatens to invade our country. This leads to Russophobia. Russians are ostracated in society in general, and they are easily suspected of espionage. A new front against Russia is created in, the high, in high speed and with little democratic involvement. Norway has, has followed the policy of appeasement and has since 1949, when we became a member of NATO, had a base policy that prohibited bases of foreign forces in Norwegian territory in peacetime. This is not the only case. Norway and Russia has been, have a common land border of approximately 200 kilometers. All two countries have never been at, at war with each other. The exception is when the Red Army liberated the East Denmark from the Germans in 1944. The people of northern Norway have therefore been grateful for the, to the Russians. After 1991 uh, the, and the collapse of the Soviet Union, the flow of across the borders of, of went relatively smoothly, cultural, financial, and political. An example of friendship and integration is that Kirkenes a Norwegian town near the border have a Russian population of 10%. Cooperation between Norway and Russia was in 1993 manifested through the Barents Secretariat, which primarily task has been to support Norwegian and Russian cooperation projects in the Norwegian and Russian parts of the Barents region. The council is now closed. This should be totally unnecessary. We have for years of good cooperation and signed important agreements, as in 2011, when we agreed on the dividing line between Norway and Russia in the Barents Sea and the Arctic Ocean, without conflict. Cooperation has been adventurous in, in all realms for both countries. The Arctic region is a, an area north, uh, north of the Arctic Circle, approximately approximately 67 degrees north of the equator. The countries that have a coast, uh, the countries that have a coast towards the Arctic Ocean are Russia, Norway, Canada, the USA, Iceland, and Denmark, uh, through their protectorates, Greenland and Faroe <coughs> Island. And Sweden and Finland that do, have, that do not have northern coast are also members of this Arctic Council. In 1996, it was established, this Arctic Council, and it was, uh, it was an agreement between these countries on scientific cooperation in the North. After Russia was banned from the meetings in February 2022, we assume that the strategic control over the Arctic is the goal for the remaining states, which are all members of NATO. Russia has an enormous long coast towards the Arctic and a large continental shelf. The U.S. Commission on the Law of the Sea has granted Russia a signatory to the Convention of Law of the Sea, sovereignty of the entire country's continental shelf. The Russian Arctic has large deposits of coal, petrol, uh, natural gas, as well as iron, gold, and other rare minerals. Large deposits of natural gas has been discovered and have been a large export port and large export ports have been built around the outlets of the River Hall, which is geographically lies roughly in the middle of the northern uh, Russian coast. The sovereignty granted to Russia with its signatory to the Convention of Law of the Sea is di disputed by the USA, which has not, not even signed the convention. Last year, the United States, without, the, without applying to the Continental Shelf Commission, announced the establishment of an outer limit of the Continental Shelf between 200 nautic miles. This means that uh, 
they claim that the USA claims the right to exploit the deposit of natural resources in on the Russian side that lays um, north of 200 Nordic miles. Russia does not agree with this approach to international established by the United States. A month ago, at a session in the International Seabed Authority, Russia called on the United States to ratify the convention and implement the rules contained thereby regarding both rights and obligations. In the case of freedom of movement in the world, uh, world's oceans, the United States requires unlimited access to maritime routes. This includes the Northeast Passage, the route that can be used to transport goods from Europe to Asia, East Asia, including China. The forecast at the time when Russia and China were declared enemies of the West was that the Northeast Passage will be open all year round. But now it turns out that it is not always open in the summer either. Russia has many icebreakers, several of which are nuclear power, and which can be break through meat and thick ice. It now turns out that the polar ice is growing and it's so thick that many places and many icebreakers are too weak to break through. Probably the West does not have icebreakers to cross this ocean. The solution is to challenge it, is to, <coughs> to this challenge is to conquer all of Russia. China's engagement in the Arctic, Arctic is an extra challenge for them, as we know. The plan is to subjugate both countries. Yeah. The aggressive approach against Russia also applied to Norway, which has now locked itself in the main in the, to the mass of the sinking NATO ships and prevent their companies to participate in the development. USA will also prevent the export of the new gas deposit, as was the case in the destruction of the pipeline on North Rift 2 between Russia and Germany. Russia and China have been described by the police security service as a, and the military intelligence as the biggest threat to Norway. All parties in parliament have approved this policy. All of them support Stoltenberg's motto that weapons are the way to peace. In the Ukraine conflict, politicians and mainstream media only present information from the Ukraine Authority and the USA. We don't get to know what the Russian thing can see. Picture of Putin with Hitler moustache and the like have graced the front pages of the biggest newspaper for two years now. People who describe the Russian invasion as unprovoked or censored and attacked personally. Their arguments are not addressed. The population's lack of knowledge makes it easy to convince them to use more of the taxpayers' money to the military industrial complex and less for the welfare of the people. And now some few words about other organization. Not only for peace and initiated cooperation with other organizations, because our view is that it is necessary to fight against fascism and war. Together we have demonstrated against the new base policy and against normal exercises, which become more frequent and bigger. We also weekly joined the demonstration against the Israel war in Palestine. In the Ukraine case, people are divided and it's more difficult to cooperate. In Tromsø, which is my hometown, there has been a political debate because of the port authorities that had entered into an agreement with the US Navy to use civilian harbor as a logistic port for the arrival of nuclear power over military submarines. The municipal board initially opposed it, but with pressure from the Minister of Defense, they finally accepted it. The organizations that opposed it gathered and held a peace in front of the town hall, and we lined up at the first arrival of the submarines that were announced. This led to the arrivals being kept secret, secret so that we would not be able to show it. Half of the 12 American bases in Norway are located in the north of Norway. This signalized that there is a front created to attack Russia and Norway, and this is without us declaring war. The decision has taken play, play, place without public debate. And have and it's a breach of Norwegian sovereignty and control of the Norwegian territory. The fascistic uh, policy is uh, executed and we fare the worst. We have not succeeded in stopping the war machine, but we live after the motto, yes, the peace, no, tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.